accomplished author. She is a teacher of other kids. She is only 12 years old. Adora joining us live in studio to tell her story. Make some noise for one of the smartest kids on the planet. Good to see you this morning, my dear. Thank you very much. You're good. so composed and so well spoken. And you got started doing all this at seven? Yes, uh, I really started when I published my first book, Flying Fingers. And after that, I started going around and talking to kids about why reading and writing was important. And from there on, it really expanded to going to conferences, talking to teachers. I'm here in Denver for the ISBE or Technology Education Conference, uh, talking really about how to get students interested in education using different technologies and interactive whiteboards. I'm working with the Promethean Active Board. So all of these different things. I don't know what a Promethean Active Board is. I'm Angie, so don't make me feel dumb. Uh, I don't no, know what no, a Promethean no, Active Board is. <laughs> um, and it, I, to me, I think that it's really all about finding different ways to get my generation sure. engaged. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. You, you wrote this book when you were seven? Yes. You're kidding me. Un no. Unreal. <laughs> now, how do other, you work a lot with other kids. Yes. So how do the other kids receive you? Do they, is it easier for them to relate to another kid? Does that make it easier for you to teach them? I would say so. That's a big part of why I really went to get started with teaching other kids was because I felt that I might be able to reach them uh, in a way that was a little different from how an adult like you, for instance, might be able to reach them. Well, I'm not technically an adult. <laughs> I'm kind of an oversized kid myself. What do you think is the most important message when you're, when you're talking to kids, when you go to these conferences? What are you trying to tell the world about kids of your generation? What I'm trying to say is really we have some wonderful ideas, and I want adults to give us the power to help spread them and help develop those ideas. And uh, education is a really important topic to me. I think that every kid deserves a quality education, so that's something that I am. You don't like it when grown-ups uh, say childish, right? You're not into that? No, because I think it's a little stereotypical. I mean, I've seen a lot of adults who are more who represent those qualities more than some kids do. What are you saying? In the present company excluded, of course, right? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> so, what do you think grown-ups can learn from from kids of your age? I would say that adults can really learn a lot about creativity. We have wild imaginations, wonderful ideas, lots of humor, and these are things that I think adults can really put to use in today's world. Now we're talking about, I mean, you've done so much already at, at your age. When, I mean, are you going to go through high school the normal way? Or are you going to go to college early? Like, what's your game plan from here? Well, right now I go to an online public school, so I'm taking high school courses. I, uh, and I'm actually going to be in ninth grade next year. And uh, I've been taking eighth grade math and science. So my levels are kind of at different areas, but I do hope to go to college a little early. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, you, and you, of course, were on the Oprah program, yes? Yes, they did show a video about me. So, so, so we can say, you, were, you know, Oprah, even Oprah loves you. I hope so. <laughs> right there, sister. Now, how can kids get involved? These books are awesome, and, and they're available everywhere? How, how do we get these? Well, you can go to my website, adorespeedtalk.com, and they're available there. Excellent, and you're going to be in Denver for a little while? Yes, I'll be here until Wednesday, and people can come see me. I will be at the ISBE conference. Awesome. Now, you've observed our program here. You've seen Angie and our weather guy and our traffic gal. Would you say we're uh, a, sort of a below-average intelligence program? Or <laughs> are we smarter than the average show? What do you think, having observed our program? Well, I can't speak for the intellectual levels, but I will say this. Uh, you guys have made me laugh more times than I ever have probably in my entire news-watching life. So Rock oh, and roll, yeah. sister! Yes. We are endorsed by one of the smartest young ladies on the planet. Well, you are an inspiration, but I have to say you're so composed and just a great energy to be around. I think you've got an amazing future. Will you remember me when you're rich and famous and 20? Yes, definitely. Awesome. I'll contact you. Awesome. Have fun in Denver, my friend. Thanks. Good stuff. All right, Mom, was that good? We got Mom. Mom also thinks our show is funny, but not necessarily a smart show. We love her, we love her too. <laughs> no, she said they go hand in they hand. They go hand in hand. You are awesome. I'm going to read this book. Wonderful. Good stuff. All right, we got more after the break. In fact, we might keep you around and see if you can actually communicate with dogs and cats. Now, that would be a feature. Okay? Here's the thing. Thunderstorms come to town. You know this. Thunderstorms frighten. 